I'm going to pick up on the word track and this tracking. In my life, I've had to make some really important decisions. And so I've had to track where I've come from, where am I at the moment, and where do I likely want to go? What uh, does this track that I'm going to put in front of me, where does it lead to, or where does I think it leads to? And I've been doing that again here. I'm in my 70th revolution of the sun. I have to sort of figure out a little bit more about what my legacy is going to do, track my legacy story, project contributions. And one of the things that I realized is I was attempting to figure out what it is that I could do, be and have, that would be of the greatest contribution for the world with the planet from the whole. And I know that I want to interact with youngers, olders, elders, in particular olders, those who are solo aging, those who are grand aging, and uh, help them figure out how to put a few more dashes in between that uh, birth year and transition year. And to be able to do that, I kept looking at what would be the kind of projects I would want to get involved with, and how might I be able to be of assistance to help them not stumble or stub their toes or waste their time, effort, and money as they get involved with a legacy um, story project contribution. And then it was tracking this story through my notebooks that I came across, oh, hang on a minute, I really enjoy mapping uh, in the sense of using visual language, words, shapes, diagrams, doodling, sketching, that kind of thing. And uh, I tracked back through and I went, oh yeah, that's how I've been doing a lot of my work. Uh, when I returned to university the second time, I was fortunate enough to uh, learn about mind mapping. And from that, I created my own mind mapping language that I used uh, through all my university days and uh, used it in my work to be able to remember, uh, prepare presentations, all these different uh, activities. And I went, could I do mapping and help solo agers and grand agers map out where they want to go, map out the activities they want to do? And I went, yes, I could. That could be legacy mapping. And then I went, well, hang on a minute. There's some other things that I'm really good at, which is taking a look at uh, the creating of systems, processes that could help. And that's where I came up with the evidence education experience accelerator, the 3E accelerator. And from that, I developed a, an even deeper tool that um, I will be bringing forward, but it's this evidence education experience uh, tool, accelerator, technique, technology, whatever you want to call it. And I just went mapping to get into that while you're in there using mapping. And I just went legacy mapping, legacy accelerator. And that's where I have landed on what I believe I can be of the greatest assistance to those who are moving through in their older years. They're looking at adding some more dashes between that birth year and that transition year and doing it in such a way that it's fun, it's fulfilling. There's some freedom there to do the things that uh, they want to do. Uh, they want to remain relevant. Uh, they're looking at trying to figure out what events they want to welcome into their lives. And I went, yeah, I think that's where I can be of the greatest assistance. So that's what I'm leaning into now, what I'm going to be bringing forward. And uh, it's going to be really a great adventure for me, see how it all unfolds. And I'm going to be using um, this Younger, Older, Elder channel to bring that forward. But also, I thought that I would bring an actual example forward as well, which is Awareness from Forest. The short form is Awareness, and I'll put a link down below. So I'm actually working on a legacy project connected with um, nature. And uh, nature is muse, metaphor, uh, self-care companion, living systems educator, inspiration for every breath. I think I've said that a few times now over the last little bit. <laughs> but it's actually an example because what I'm doing is I'm doing fundraising for 
um, agroforest projects in different parts of the world, and also locally as well in terms of creating what might be called urban food forests. So I'm going to see what I can do with all of that and how I might get younger, older elders and involved with that legacy project. But it's to illustrate, to uh, demonstrate, to uh, give a way of looking at what I do that will be of assistance to olders, giving them an example that they can get involved with to learn some of the basics, then maybe go out and do their own or go straight into their own, whatever it might be. But also it's to give me an opportunity to figure out I've been always looking at writing. And I've thought about... You got room there? Yeah. So with Awareness, one of the things that I've been wanting to do is get more involved with my writing. I've thought about writing um, children's books, uh, have a bit of a, a fantasy kind of... Uh, uh, epic storyline to them. I've got some characters I've been creating and looking at uh, sort of bringing those to life and then maybe looking at them through uh, a film, screenplay. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, how, uh, how time unfolds. But those are uh, elements of my creative process that I want to bring um, out f to the foreground. So there's lots of things happening with Awareness that are examples I can use in younger, older, elder from a legacy accelerator, legacy mapping. So I'm hoping that this gives a connection between those. And another day I'll bring to the foreground uh, the story of mentoring and why that's important in the um, education aspect of that accelerator. But today I just wanted to share that because I happen to be on a walk, a nature walk. I have been looking for um, activities and uh, elements, um, objects that start with the letter J and T, and uh, looking for patterns where the number seven appears. So I go and do those kind of intentional walks as well. I thought I'd share that. That's a little bit of an update about what's happening. And uh, if I can be of any assistance to you in terms of looking at this uh, legacy mapping, legacy accelerator, or even thinking about a concept like track tracking, then uh, give me a shout out. There's a direct message you can send uh, through the website. I'll put the, uh, the link down below. There is the comment section. Just remember that's public facing. Whereas if you do a direct message that goes in private, uh, either one will work and uh, we'll get you set up. And if uh, a conversation by, uh, a online tool. Let's do it. Uh, I probably won't be meeting in person because I'm interacting with people all over the world and I don't think most people can come to Canada. <laughs> uh, so let's sort of see how this unfolds and, and uh, help you out then. Sometimes just around the corner of the trail you find these really great places to just take a rest and enjoy the scenery as it unfolds in front of you. So with that, I'm just going to say take care.